not stay in one place for long. So what are you, what are you trying to tell me? I'm slow or something? Um, I, I can get the job done, you, you asshole. You don't have to sit there and say, he doesn't, he doesn't have to be, he, he's not going to be there for long. Shut, shut the fuck up, all right? Yeah, I'm just going to fucking take out waves of these fuckers. They're like level 11s. You can, you can actually be quiet and... I, let me do my job, and you can sit up there in your little little hut and do yours. You know, guys, I better be quiet. Now, the YouTube heroes, they're, uh, they're after people like me, you know. Uh, people using that foul language, using the, uh, that, uh, uh, using them, 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 them dink memes, you know. Uh, they're after people like me. I'm, you can call me a fugitive. I'm, I'm a YouTube fugitive, and, you know, they're the... They're the heroes. Uh, they're 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 the good ones. Before you know it, uh, they're gonna be over here, you know, mass flagging my videos. Uh, you know, leaving them subtitles. You know, saying that uh, I should go drink bleach and and talking about how I'm a faggot and stuff. You know, uh, it's really an oxymoron if you really think about it, because the YouTube community, it, they're trying to bring it together to basically go witch hunt these people that are doing, you know. Are, that are going against the terms of service, but all they're gonna do is basically make the community even more unstable because the people that are witch hunting are gonna abuse their their power basically. Okay, so what I'm gonna do in this video is is I'm gonna go step by step and tell you what the different steps are to being a YouTube hero or whatnot, and then I'm gonna tell you. What what's wrong with these steps and and each problem that arises with the more power that you gain going through these steps? So right off the bat, the first thing the video says is basically that if you add subtitles to videos, you can gain points. Now now here's the thing, right? S subtitles on YouTube, okay, they're notorious for being pretty much awful and unreadable, right? It's you know it's not accurate at all. It's pretty much computer generated, from what I've gathered. Now, here's the problem, right? It'd be good if people went around and, you know, actually filled in the subtitles, you know, what, of what the actual person was saying. But nobody's going to do that. Let's be honest. Nobody on YouTube is going to go around and actually go in and fill in the subtitles as what the guy, person's actually saying. No, what's going to happen is that they're going to go in and basically what they're going to do is, is that they're going to put some really funny racist shit in there. Or some really funny something in there, right? And it's just gonna replace everything that they're saying, right? I'll tell you one thing: it's gonna be it's gonna be hell for somebody that's deaf. It's funny. I can I can actually I can see it right now. You're watching your crazy Russian hacker as he explains how to fondle your uh, your wrench correctly, when realistically he's just talking about how to how to um, tighten up a screw on some different thing uh, a quicker way. Is it? Is it is it quicker or faster? I'm, I can't help myself. I'm 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 pretty literate. So the next thing they say you gotta do is you pretty much just gotta go report um, YouTube videos accurately, right? Inappropriate content has gotta be reported accurately. If you report videos, you know, accurately, you gain points. Now you see the the problem with this is is that you're encouraging people to go in and nitpick people's videos. Cause I'm sure some you can find somewhere in a video that you know where it might register as inappropriate content. The smallest thing is gonna get somebody triggered. It's you know it's inevitable, really. I mean, unless your video is like. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mountain Dew Man 33, and I'm back at it again with another video game review. Today we're playing some Destiny. It is a good game, and I really like it. it has lots of DLCs, lots of content, and the storyline is just great. And this game's so easy, my grandma can play it. This game right here kind of reminds me of Skyrim, guys. And I, and I was a thief in Skyrim. I would never be a thief in real life, though. That being a thief's horrible. You can also go to Earth on here. You can go to Explore in Russia. Go fight some aliens. Some uh, they're the main bad guys on this game. And just for this video, guys, we will try to pronounce some Russian words. First word we have is mild. 
mild chick. What, what, what is a mild chick? A man? Mild chick? But let, me, let me try to repeat this one more time, guys. Oh no, mild chick son. This is mild chick. Mild chick. It's mild chick. And then this is Mushina, that means man. God, this is so exciting, guys. The actual response this kid's gonna get is YouTube, this guy's being a sexist prick. He said that this game's so easy that his grandma could. That means all women can't play video games. That means Makes this guy's sense. a sexist prick. And we need to take him off YouTube right now and, and hunt him down and, and, and go and, and cut his balls off. He's a, he's a useless scrub. Alright, God. The decision is yours this time. Oh my God, I'm, I'm How just, bad do you want I'm me on so this earth? The next thing you can do is share your knowledge with others. Now, I don't really know what they mean by that. Um, I don't know if they mean by in the comment section. I don't know if they mean by, like, you know, over there in, like, some forum somewhere. It, it doesn't, it's, it's very vague. It's not very Pacific, really. It's, it's really just, you know, you could share your knowledge with others. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share your knowledge of how to kill yourself. How many points will I get for that, YouTube, huh? If you accumulate enough points from doing all this, you eventually reach level one, which means you're your YouTube hero. Not a menace to society, not a vigilante, but an actual damn YouTube hero. Congratulations, Johnny. It looks like Dad's gonna let you back into the house after all. So I bet you're wondering, what do I get if I become a YouTube hero? Well, when you become a YouTube hero, you get access to the Heroes dashboard. Now, of course, YouTube, as gracious as YouTube is, doesn't even give you an, an idea of what this dashboard is, what it looks like, some some benefits, you know. It, it doesn't give you a, an, an actual product to look at. It just tells you, you know what, there's this cool thing that we might have, and you might you might be interested in it. You just, you just might. also says that you'll be become united with the Heroes community. Justice League Unite! Now at uh, level two, you're going to be able to get more information about your, uh, you know, your job, your indentured servitism. Basically, what you're going to be having is <laughs> a, a workshop, sort of like uh, they have for the videos, how to grow your channel. It's basically going to be like that, but it's going to be for YouTube heroes. I don't understand why they don't do that from the the get go. You know, maybe so they don't have an untrained slave force working for them. Oh my bad. Volunteer Workforce. But if this information right here isn't, you know, enough for you, enough to get you hyped up, you can also take part in Hero Video Chats. Now, hmm, what could I use that Video Hero Chat for? To discuss what inappropriate content that I've been seeing, to boast about how I've been taking people down, to rally up and uh, take YouTube channels off the map. You know, what they're thinking is that people get together on these little chats and bounce ideas back and forth off each other. Great idea. Good job. Now, the next level you get to level 3. And oh boy, isn't that where the fun begins. You unlock yourself what's called super tools. Now, these quote-unquote super tools could be best described as the missing nuclear weapons that we didn't find in Iran. I want to personally go up and shake the hand of the person who thought that mass flagging YouTube videos wouldn't have been a, a, a very sufficient idea. Look, basically it's like this, right? The people are getting paid for YouTube, you know, like to the, the actually take the videos down and you know, make sure the, the flagging is valid, right? Uh, they're going to get spammed with basically bullshit flags. And see what's going to happen is is that the the real shit is going to get separated from the fake shit, and basically at the end everything is just going to become invalid shit. And then of course you can silence people by deciding what comment you find deemable to put on YouTube. Basically, if you get to this level, you uh you get to decide what what's worthy to be in in the English language. Better yet, pretty much any language. And then, my friends, after becoming the Gestapo of YouTube yourself, you basically get to go around and do all the things that a uh, content creator should be able to do. You get to contact YouTube support. Tell me why a, a content creator can't get a hold of YouTube support. 
guys it appears that I, my system has been hacked into it looks like they're it, it's coming from the hero summit uh, I believe they're using the experimental technology that my mind can't even begin to fathom uh, shit I'm, I'm, I'm really screwed here guys well guys it appears that's all the time I have for today well guys I want to thank you for watching the video I know today was a little bit more serious than you know I usually am but uh you know something had to be said this this is uh it's a little bit scary you know what i'm saying uh youtube's turning into a uh, uh what, what is the word what is the what is the word for i don't know fascist you know communist all that stuff with the ist anyways i'm gonna hit you up with the cringe uh stay safe out there is the weather is starting to get horrific and uh yeah see ya aus wirklich aktiven Kämpfern bestehen. Und ihnen wird mehr gefordert als von den Millionen der übrigen Volksgenossen. Für sie